Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I was walking through, of all places, Radio Shack the other day. I needed batteries. No better place to buy them on the planet. And uh, I happened upon a section of the store where they had these things, these snap kits. They're, well, basically rudimentary electronics kits. Not like the electronic kits that I grew up with way back in 19... <laughs> Long time ago. My dad wouldn't let me play with them. He's afraid I was going to electrocute myself. Of course, that didn't stop me from licking 9-volt batteries. <clears throat> now I've got my dog Wicket licking 9-volt batteries. He loves it. Oh, he loves licking 9 volts. No matter. Uh, if you uh, have a kid or maybe you're someone who likes electronics or electronics kits or kits in general, you may think about these. Uh, Snap Kit. It seems to be exclusive to Radio Shack. This is the Space Battle snap kit and the snap kits uh you know they're these plastic and metal parts that are essentially you know well kind of like not 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 like an erector set not like a lego kit not like an electronics kit but kind of like all in one and it, each one of these kits apparently comes with a grid and various components i've got three potential configurations with this kit the uh well at least this is what i could probably create whatever i wanted to with it so long as it works um, this is the space battle with three other projects. Let me go ahead and swap the video source here uh, to bring you close to the action. Uh, I've taken away uh, the photoreceptor, and the reason why is because when I have it connected to the system down here, then anytime light is showing, then the sound is emitted here from the speaker. Uh, so if I want to play the space battle sounds, I simply press the button. Love it. Now see, uh, there's the on-off switch. And see, since I took that away, well, then the circuit is not complete. So I need to complete that circuit. And of course, I supplied the... Uh, Believe it or not, these batteries I did not buy at Radio Shack, um, but I, I, I uh, these are a couple of double A's here. Turn it on, circuit complete. So now let's go ahead and connect the photoreceptor. I'm not going to press the button. I'm going to cover up that photoreceptor so that it doesn't turn on automatically. There we go. We've got it covered up. And we'll disconnect it again. Hey, there we go. It's kind of fun. Relatively affordable. Uh, collect them. Trade them with your friends. I don't know if you'd really want to trade them, but if you're wanting to educate yourself on the basics of circuitry, I mean, this is not, you know, as nearly as advanced as a traditional electronics kit. Uh, however, that being said, I think the uh, the idea behind this is, is being able to well, just get some basic ideas under your thumb and then of course uh, you know having a little bit of fun too i mean i i'd imagine even though it says the uh, uh ages uh, from uh it looks like ages eight to 108 i don't know i think i would give this to someone who was younger than eight years old to have them play with it uh don't think they could really harm themselves i mean unless of course they swallowed one of the pieces which hopefully they would not do um, I think, though, that... Uh, Wicket, do you want to play with this now? Do you, do you want to give us a shot? I don't think he does. Okay, so, you know, there are other kits that are available. Uh, I'll uh, be linking off to uh, where you can buy more of these online. Uh, if you do want to buy more of these, or any of these, uh, head over to go.tagjag.com slash snapkits. That's S-N-A-P-K-I... TS, and uh, I'll either link to uh, the uh, the page with all of them or maybe just to the Space Battle one. And they have different versions, too. They have larger ones. Um, I didn't have any problem in assembling this particular kit. I mean, they give you a map and everything. It's kind of hard to miss. Uh, but the plastic board that uh, I was, uh, you know, basically snapping on top of, um, it wasn't sized properly. So I kind of had to turn it on its side to... to make everything uh, work okay. And there are li little pegs uh, on this plastic board. Uh, it's uh, safe, fun, 
Oh, wait, forgot. I gotta have the speaker, you know, connected. Otherwise, it won't work. Gotta do that. Because you, you don't get sound unless, of course, you, you have the, uh, the speaker connected to the, uh, the board. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know of other or similar kits that are available for kids of all ages. Drop me a line. I'd love to hear what you know of. Uh, maybe you grew up with electronics kits too. Did that get you started in a career? If you want to get started in a career, I don't think there's a better way. Of course, I'd probably push you to something a little more advanced than this. Uh, no matter. Uh, if you're a geek, you know where you can go. Where is that? That's right. Geeks.perillo.com. Post your own projects there, certainly. Maybe you like soldering things. Me, not so much. I almost burnt my hand on a soldering iron once. I'm sure if you've worked with soldering irons, you've done it more than once. And of course, we've got the chat room, which is a part of this live video feed experience that uh, you've, well, at least some of you have been watching. Over 600 of you have been watching for a little while now, tonight. Because uh, I stream it out live. Usually it's with my head in the picture. Right now, my head is not in the picture because this is what I was showing off. This thing right here you know you want it now if you want to watch the video feed then uh, you're gonna have to stop by the website it's live 24 hours a day seven days a week at of all places live.perillo.com we'll see you later